Hello, welcome to Late Night Creations. My name is Kendra, and I'm really glad you're here. Today, we're going to do some Pinterest-inspired DIYs with spindles, and I hope that you really like them. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Our first DIY was inspired by Greyhouse Studios, and they made these gorgeous spindle candle holders. So I had this spindle. I didn't show you that I painted it this red color, but I'm showing you the original spindle and how I cut it off to make it the length that I wanted to. And so I painted it this red, I believe it's Crimson by Waverly, and then I took white wax by DIY and just scooped a little out and put it on my paper because you're not supposed to put your brush or whatever on your project and keep dipping it back into the jar because it's made with natural products and it can spoil. Um, so I'm just kind of using my finger to rub this on where I want it and I use a lot of different methods to apply this wax but um, and I did a lot of different ones on this particular spindle but I just wiped a little bit of that white on and I, I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more whitewashed rather than it almost turned it kind of pink, but I don't care. I really like how it turned out in the end, so I'm not really, you know, sometimes you start out a project and you want it to look a certain way or you have a certain expectation and then it doesn't quite turn out how you like, how you expected it, but then you like it anyway. So that's kind of what happened with this white wax on here. So I just kept adding how much I wanted and just in certain spots. I didn't want it all over and you'll see. Just watch. I just keep doing it up and down all around and then I decide that I'm going to put some dark wax on it too so I just kept adding the dark wax and the white wax you're going to see the dark wax shortly um, and so I just kept adding and rubbing it in and and it did keep making it more pink and more pink but I liked it because then it left the dark you know the dark where I didn't get the white and then I just started with the dark wax kind of trying to just make this look a little vintage and a little worn. And then I went with the clear wax because I thought, well, I got a little too much dark wax. So I just went with the clear and the dark and the white back and forth until I got the look that I wanted. You know, everybody has their own personal preference of how they wanted it. Maybe you would have not even done this distressing to it. Maybe you would have liked it just the way it was. Maybe you would have done more. Maybe you would have taken some sandpaper to it. Um, I, that, I did toy with that idea, but I liked it just the way it turned out. I had these two wood rounds. I have a whole bunch of these in my stash because someone gave me a bunch of them after they had a wedding and they knew that I was a crafter and they were just going to throw them away. No, give them to me. Okay, so I'm just going to glue these one to the bottom and one to the top. And I'm going to use my super glue, wood glue that I get at Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to use a little hot glue too. Now, if you combine those two, and you get them mixed up, it will not stick at all. So you have to be careful to put hot glue. Oops, I got a little bit on there. Um, but this is a good way to get a fast hold and a forever hold. So this is how my little candlestick turned out. Today's video is part of the Try It Tuesday hosted by Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs. She is funny. She is great. She's become a good friend. And you are going to love her channel if you don't know about her already. So this is where we create DIYs that are we are inspired by another creator. It's the last Tuesday of every month. We will link the original creator's link in the description box as well as everyone's videos that are on the playlist. So be able, be sure to check out that description box. Okay, so this was my next DIY. I absolutely loved this chalkboard with the spindles. Knew I could recreate it in my own version. So I'm taking the chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree and I'm going to give this little bamboo wood charcuterie board two good coats. I gave it two good coats of this black chalk paint. And yes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It's very important to my channel that you support me and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments, all the good stuff. Okay, so these little charcuterie boards 
were from football season at Target, and my sister had bought several of them, and she, I guess she wasn't going to use them, and she gave them to me and to see if I wanted them to craft with. And there were several other things in that box, and I was super excited. I love when people give me things that they were going to throw away. So this was kind of a trash to treasure, but it was brand new. I had to take the tag off of it to um, to do it. But it is that almost bamboo type wood, so it wasn't real smooth, but it turned out great. Okay, now I mixed up my own color paint that I wanted to paint these spindles. These are still part of those spindles that I went and got that. Remember when I went and got those 177 spindles? I've mentioned that numerous times on my channel. And I'm still using them. Still have plenty. I shared some with a fellow YouTube creator that I met up with. And um, still have plenty. So I'm going to give both of these spindles a good coat. One good coat. Um, I'm trying to hold it on top of that one so that I can <laughs> get to it without making a mess, but I'm just a messy painter. I can't help it. So I did all that, did this and did that and did this until I got it all painted. So it gets all good and painted and I absolutely love this color. I'll never be able to mix the same color again, but I do like this color. And then once they get all painted, both of them, and completely dry, then I'm going to take some of uh, these little balls that are flat on one end. And I think they're supposed to be some type of knob. They're in my stash. I don't even know where they came from, honestly. But I'm going to use some dowels to attach them. Well, first I thought I was going to paint this and I was making a big mess. So I decided to attach them to my spindles before I painted them. So I, I get in my little drill bit box and I find a drill bit that's going to be the same size as these little dowel sticks. Actually, these little dowel sticks were um, paintbrush sticks. Paintbrushes that I had thrown away and I just kept the sticks because they were still in good shape. Yes, I'm a craft hoarder. Now I'm going to find the center of this and I'm going to drill a hole that same size in the center. Now the best way for me to find the center is go corner to corner. Oops, fingernail got in the way. And corner to corner and where the lines cross is pretty close to the center. Close enough for me. So that's where I'm going to drill my hole. I got a little out of frame here. I apologize. It's kind of hard to work at my station and stay in frame sometimes. So I'm going to stick that, make sure that fits down in there. And it's a perfect fit. A little bit tight. Had to get my needle nose pliers to pull it out because, you know, old lady fingers don't have that much strength. Now I'm going to use some more of that wood glue from Dollar Tree and I'm going to poke that little stick down in there, that little dowel down in there as far as it'll go. And then we're going to use some wood glue, maybe some hot glue. I can't remember if I used hot glue or not. I may have just used wood glue uh, because this is going to be kind of a little tight fit there. So I don't think it's going to go anywhere until it dries. So I'm putting some that on the dowel and then oops wait I've decided that I'm gonna put some on the flat part too which was probably a good idea now I had a little we had some freezing weather I'm talking freezing weather for Texas for sure see that worked great and a lot of my paints and adhesives and glues and what have you well everything froze and some of it ruined when it never thawed out or didn't thaw out right so that glue was kind of one of those that got thick and yeah so anyway here they are painted and now I'm taking the dark wax by DIY and doing the same thing kind of I did with it on the candlestick just giving it a, like a dry brush almost and then I will go with an old t-shirt that I cut up to buff that out and I think that they turned out gorgeous. Love this look. I love to do this with the Sawmill Gravy by Dixie Belle, but that was one of my paints that got ruined. Now I'm going to take some white. This is just white chalk paint. Um, this is by Rust-Oleum. And 
I'm doing more than a dry brush. It's heavier than a dry brush because I want some of that, you know, white chunky paint on there and up on these um, ends of it too. So my little granddaughter was in the craft cottage with me um, when I was doing this and she said, they look like bedposts, Gigi. And I said, well, I guess they kind of are. Or that's how they make bedposts, baby. Anyway, so here she is being my little helper. So she is going to um, prime this, cure this, whatever you call it when you chalk the chalkboard. And it really kind of made a mess because um, it got down in those cracks of that bamboo. But she liked it. She gave it a thumbs up, just like Gigi does. So now we're just going to adhere the chalkboard to the spindles with some hot glue and some wood glue. I'm marking where the spindle is going to stop so I don't get glue everywhere, which I do anyway. But there's that thick wood glue that got thick when I hit froze and thawed and... I don't even know. I haven't even gotten into everything to see what all got ruined. But, yeah. It froze, but it's what it is. I don't have um, heat out here yet. Just AC, window AC. So, we're working on it. So, I'm going to just glue this down. I'm kind of making sure that I get the, them both in the same spot. There we go. Um, I was practicing on the back of this with my chalk pen chalk writer so that's why I have my <laughs> my name on the back of it and I'm just going to put this little um, rope twine hanger on the back I'm going to use a little bit of that canvas drop cloth to secure that and then I start trying to write on this thing oh my word I tried chalk but I didn't have any small I didn't have any small all I had was sidewalk chalk so I decided I found the center and then I tried to go from the center out and no it did not work it says me new no not working so luckily this comes off with a wet cloth and then i just went in and just did the best i could yep so then i'm going to put a little line under it and then i decide that i don't like this that i don't i think this looks too modern for this vintagey looking piece so i just wrote it with my handwriting and here is how it turned out. And here it is with the spindle. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I want you to remember to be still and know that He is God. Thanks for watching.